Today I have the pleasure of speaking with John Shackleton from Future Vault. How are you? Good, thank you. John, we're so delighted to have you. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were the CEO of Open Text Corporation, which is one of you know Canada's you know great tech stories. Uh, you also, uh, as I have here, uh, notes. Uh, you took it the company's growth from 60 million to 1.3 billion in revenue, and now you've decided to lend your name and become the CEO of Future Vault. So we're going to just start with why. Um, really, the reason why is, one, the platform that they have is a modern, open platform. Two is the depth of uh, domain expertise that they bring for such a small company is uh, really unusual. So uh, I was very attracted to, to working with FutureVault. Well, you know, I have some individuals that we represent that are listed on the NASDAQ that were basically semi-retired and came out of retirement because they wanted to get back in the game. So you somehow got talked into joining this small group of talented individuals, obviously, because they were singing a song you liked. Can you tell us a little bit more about what were some of the compelling reasons that you got on board here? Yeah. Um, I'm also chairman of the board of a couple of other startups where they're five, $10 million in revenue. And growing a company, getting that foundation right, is what really intrigues me. And uh, with FutureVault, the opportunity, the market that they're in, um, with the domain expertise they've got, uh, it really, really excites me. Of course, you know, we're all talking about media platform technologies. I mean, we talk about it every day. We are, are big advocates of that here at Investor Intel. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the competitive advantages? You mentioned their domain expertise. But I think I heard you on a BNN interview just yesterday talking about the security uh, aspect. Did I understand that uh, correctly or did I get it wrong? Just correct me. So security is extremely important, obviously, given the hackers, ransomware, et cetera, and particularly in the financial services area, the information is so sensitive, it's critical to be highly secure. Uh, but the other piece is if we look at things like Box and SharePoint, et cetera, they are horizontal platforms. What we're looking at is very specific solutions for the financial services industry, whether they be uh, accountants, uh, money, uh, money managers, or um, lawyers, the information that we provide for them and their clients is, uh, is unique. Well, you know, we do understand that there's a lot of money out there. I, I was actually talking to a friend of mine about how Berkshire Hathaway has, what, $145 billion in loose change in their, uh, in their capital? Yep, that's ca cash. So uh, what I was explaining to a, a CEO earlier today that's quite young, I said, you know, I, I think what you're doing, if I hear you correct, is you're, you're taking all your expertise, finding very talented young groups, you're providing them with some mentorship, so then you can tap into those, you know, investments from these larger groups. Is, would that be correct? That's correct. I, I think a couple of things. One is there's a maturity model that a $5 million company is very different from a $20 million company to a $100 million company. And how do you navigate that growth with the same people or when do you change some of those people? Um, the, the other piece of it is shareholder value. At the end of the day, you know, you can have as much fun and build the greatest uh, solution that's, that's there, but you're not making any money. And so... It's the issue of managing the top line and bottom line. It's not just having fun building great stuff. Well, you know, a lot of individuals that have been, you know, CEOs of mid to large caps like yourself, you know, I always tell them when this occasionally happens, when they, what I call, join the murky marshes of a small cap with, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we're hearing is you really believe in the talent of this core group. You're going to help them take it to the next level. You're helping make sure that they have the right infrastructure in place. This is a technology that you can put your own name on it. Um, and can you tell us what we should expect, say, in the upcoming quarter before I let you go? Uh, in the upcoming quarter, will be my, my number one focus will be looking at our customer base, making sure they're happy and then building a plan that will take us to that next level with those customers. I see happy customers are the best marketing and sales 
effect you can have. If they're happy, they will tell other people. And to me, that, that's, that's the beginning of the growth. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, John. I do plan on following up with you in six to nine months to see if you're still standing firm behind this company or if you've decided you're going to retire or go back to a mid to large cap company. Thank you.